Understanding sitting on the fence in English. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're exploring a very common but intriguing phrase, sitting on the fence. Stick around as we break down what it means, how to use it, and share some examples to help you master this expression. Let's get started. Sitting on the fence is an idiomatic expression used to describe someone who is undecided or neutral about a decision or opinion. Imagine sitting on a fence, not choosing which side to jump down to. This phrase captures the essence of indecision, where one is hesitant to pick a side in an argument or make a choice between options. The phrase, sitting on the fence, has its roots in the physical act of sitting on a fence, which perfectly represents the state of being in between two distinct areas. Historically, it's been used to describe individuals who remain neutral in disputes or decisions, embodying the literal sense of not moving to either side of the fence. Using sitting on the fence in conversation is quite simple. It's often used to describe someone's behavior or decision-making process. For example, when it comes to choosing between digital and traditional art, I'm still sitting on the fence. Why are you sitting on the fence? It's time to make a decision. It can be used in various contexts, from casual discussions about preferences to more serious debates where a clear stance is expected. Let's look at some examples to see how this phrase is used in everyday conversation. Despite the heated debate, Alex remained sitting on the fence, unwilling to choose a side. The manager is sitting on the fence about who to promote, both candidates are equally qualified. Sitting on the fence won't help. Sometimes, you just have to make a tough choice. These examples showcase the versatility of the phrase in expressing hesitation or neutrality. Understanding the phrase, sitting on the fence, can add a layer of nuance to your English communication, especially when discussing opinions, decisions, or debates. Remember, it's all about conveying indecision or neutrality. We hope this video has cleared up the meaning and use of this common English expression. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video where we'll explore more fascinating aspects of the English language.